YouTube. Um, I just wanted to make a video talking about something that's been on my mind a lot today for some reason. Um, and I'd like to talk about your body. Um, or oh, and my body, everybody's body. Um, the thing, thing that I'd like to talk about, like, okay, everyone is so insecure about your bodies and, or our bodies and everyone, um, I don't know, we just, get so wrapped up in what we want our bodies to do or to be or, you know, um, but when something like a disability comes into your life, you realize real quick that, um, you can't depend on your body. Your body is something that you shouldn't take for granted. And, um, if you do, then I'm sorry, <laughs> but you should find more to life like find more to yourself because one day you just might lose it and I'm not trying to jinx anyone I'm not trying to um you know put a damper on anything but it's true like bodies our life is so much more than what our body does doesn't do what it looks like what um it doesn't look like like okay I think I have little boobs <laughs> um if it was up to me then I would get a boob job and all this stuff but I don't think anything wrong about people who do plastic surgery or whatever to try to get better bodies, but um, I think that the main thing is being comfortable in your own skin and realizing that no matter what, um, you you can't depend on your body um, for anything. Like, my body is not, when I first had kids, then I breastfed. and. Um, that was what taught me what boobs are actually for. They aren't for some guys to get off on or, um, you know, girls or whatever. It's not for other people. It's not for, it's not even for you to look great in a dress or whatever. They're, they're mechanisms to feed babies. <laughs> That's what boobs actually are. And then, um, you know, it's the same same token with everything else about your life. Um, I have a friend who is disabled, but before he was disabled, he was going to play professional football. Um, and, you know, it's really easy, especially when you're young um, and healthy, to just think of all these, like, dreams. I used to have all these dreams that um, involved my body, and I just didn't... I, I just took it for granted that I would always walk, that I would always um, be healthy or whatever. Um, and I think most people do take that for granted, but um, nothing lasts forever. And there's so much more to you than your body. And I hope you know that. And I hope that you know that no matter what your body type is, if you're a larger person or a smaller person or short or tall or whatever, like, it is not about the package you show up to this world and you know, that's, that's not life. That's not the important aspect to life. Um, what's important is, um, what you do with what's inside that body. What's, what's inside that head. Um, you know, what's inside your heart, um, giving yourself to the world, not giving so much credit to a body that is all it is is a container to hold you inside and um the best way to i don't know live this life is to recognize that that your body is just a container and it might wear out and you might need a new container or you might need replacement parts or maybe you'll just need a little duct tape um or or a wheelchair or whatever but no matter what happens in life, life is about so much more than your body, so much more than your skin. And just please, please know that and please celebrate it. If you have legs that work, use them. You know, run, walk, dance, um, do all the things that people whose legs don't work, they can't do. You know, um, if your legs don't work, um, then you know, do stuff with the rest of your body if you're quadriplegic and um, all you can do is use your mind, then use it. Find a way to share what you have with the world and um, 
because we live in this modern age where all of us can, you know, talk to millions of people. Um, and so, anyway, I just hope that you use this package you showed up in. And I hope everyone does, and I hope I do too. I hope I don't. Sometimes it's really hard because my hands are going numb and, um, you know, I think, like, what... What happens if I lose even more than I've already lost to um, this disease or life or whatever? But that's that's just life, you know. You gotta roll with the punches. Um, the punches will keep coming, but you know what? Um, whatever my body decides to do, if my hands decide to go in a, like completely numb where I can't even lift anything or do anything, then Oh well, like I have to always remember that my body is just one aspect of a much deeper life. And I hope yours is too. Alright, thank you for listening. Bye. Stop.